like you're waiting for something to pick up and it almost gets there, but then it just slows back down again. Hey guys, this is my review for the latest Iku Oyue's uh, film. Uh, apologies if I pronounced that wrong. This is my review for Headshot. This was a film that came out last year and I am a huge fan of Iko. His work in the Raid movies is phenomenal. They are two of my favorite action kung fu movies in recent years, if not almost ever. Choreography done in these two movies is phenomenal, and he is part of the choreography team, and you could see that there's similar move sets and similar sort of fight scenes that were done in Headshot. However, there was one major factor that was very prominent during Headshot. It's trying to be these movies but it's not. The whole point of the story is about a man who's found on the shore of a beach, that's Iku, who has had a gunshot wound to his head and has temporary amnesia, and that's Jason Bourne. It's Jason Bourne, literally. It is a Jason Bourne movie in that sense. It turns out that he was part of a terrorist cell unit and he is slowly hunted down by his own unit and sort of goes on a revenge scheme to get them because they hurt his girl that is kind of tending to him and they kidnap her and all this stuff. It's a sort of a by the mills action story, but what it's trying to do is add some artistic flavor to it with slow, very artsy, I admit, very well laid out shots. A little bit of an emotionality, emotional depth with, between Iko, the girl that he's with, and the relationship with this terrorist cell. But everything just kind of seems half-baked. They never really have come to full fruition. And the fight scenes, the fight scenes, and a movie like this is something that's key. They are obviously one of the most important parts of the film. And when you constantly have these slow-mo parts in the middle of the fight scene, it ruins the flow, it ruins the sense of intensity and desperation and all-out, balls-out action. There's a lot of times where it'll be some decent choreography and then all of a sudden a slow-mo kick comes in and they lie on the floor. And it really reminded me of wrestling, when people are on the ground going, oh, oh, and just like slowly, dramatically building themselves up and people who should be beating the shit out of are getting away whereas the one who did the shit kicking is on the ground still and the film like at first i thought it was trying to be a little bit more of a realistic version of the raid i love the raid movies but admittedly the amount of damage these guys do to each other is impossible but then there's stuff like at one point in the final fight scene a guy punches the concrete floor and actually makes a dent in it and doesn't seem to flinch so I don't understand the kind of what they were trying to do with this film, whether it was trying to be a realistic action film or whether it was trying to be an intense one with a little bit of realism here and there. It just couldn't find its place and that's where the film suffered, is it never found its place. It always kept on taking from different other things. There's so many moments in this movie that it's trying to be the raid from the choreography to even the camera movement, which is okay. Some of the camera movement isn't bad. As I said earlier, some of the framing's not bad, but this constant use of slow-mo, one, it makes the movie 20 minutes almost longer than it should be. It, it is way too long of a film for its purpose. This one just has a lot of slow parts and a lot of kind of sitting there wondering why we're still watching this stuff. There are some really good action scenes, there are some cool character elements, but as I said, they're all half done. They never really fully finish. And in the end, there's maybe one or two fight scenes that are okay, but the constant stops, breaks, guys lying on the ground, just ruins the flow of the film and there's a lot of moments where I'm just sitting there like this because I was so bored I couldn't care what happened in the end there was also this really weird going to English but then going back to Indonesian it didn't make any sense because it wasn't at first it was the villain and then it was eco and it didn't make any sense why they would jump back and forth it there was no western person in this film it just didn't make any sense as to why they would go to english and then go to indonesian sometimes in the same sentence i i don't know if you're going to stick with one thing stick with it so in the end 
Headshot is a cool attempt. I admit that what these guys were doing was basically an homage to the raid, but the problem is it's not the raid, and it suffers for trying to be too many things, but never really deciding on what it wants to be, and never like really cementing itself as its own entity. So in the end, I will give Headshot a 2 out of 7. It has some cool fight scenes, but for a movie that's near on 2 hours long, it is kind of dull and it really doesn't make use of the time. So thank you guys for watching my review. In fact, I'm actually about to watch The Raid right now. So I'm going to review these two movies. These are also from my bucket list. They are two of my favorite films of all time. They are amazing. I kind of have to go back and forth about which one I like the most. I like the second one the most, but we'll see after I review these. Maybe I might even do the best fight scenes or top five fight scenes or something from them. Anyways, that's all from me guys. See you guys next time.